Hello YouTube. Saturday morning. Uh oh. It's broken. <laughs> Just kidding. I haven't lit it up yet. Seems like everybody's got that. Don't feel like doing squat stuff. Brand new year. I got that one going. Just burning some crap. Burn the crap off of that uh, those dishwashers. <clears throat> Cut some kindling up. That's what I use these pallets for. See, I cut all the little boards off so I can get it started. There's Star. She's out running around. <clears throat> yeah, I emptied it out a little bit. It's getting a little bit full. I put it over there in a compost pile. <clears throat> it's amazing what'll grow in there. Potatoes love to grow in that. And so does... Uh, Acorn squash. That's the only squash my wife will eat. I don't eat squash. I'm not a greens eater. I like my beans, I like my peas, I like my carrots raw out of the garden. I like my spinach cooked. I like my peppers raw or cooked. I like my onions raw or cooked. I like celery. Majority of this stuff has to come straight out of the garden. This is what we got to start thinking about since it is a new year. Oh yeah, see I got the back fully open. The little buggers have been in here digging, probably burying their nuts. <clears throat> Still got onions coming up yet. Yeah, leaves are good compost too. Did that when I was a kid, still living at home. Every fall we dig the garden up. I would have to bury the leaves in the garden. Do one row at a time, you know, with a shovel. Flip it over, put the leaves in, flip it back. Like you would dig one furrow. That way you had a place and just kept till the whole garden and all the leaves and the property were gone. Celery's still trying to make a comeback. Cause it's not, yeah, it's about 36, 37 degrees. It's either raining or sleet we're getting right now. It actually just started, so. This is a little bit shot of my property, how far back you can go. <clears throat> then we go to my mess. Oh look, it's amazing what the wind blows around here, eh? I drink my pop out of a can, not out of a bottle. That's been there for a while, it's been chewed on. Yeah, I gotta clean that up. See, welcome to my mess. Those pallets that are over there, they gotta come over here. I gotta get this scaffolding out of here. My rain barrel moved. Just pile them right here. I want that mess out of there. I want to move my scrap crap over. I want to move all this over. See where all that wood is? It's got to get out of there. Where's my blue box? That's what this is good for. <clears throat> oh, little birdie hiding in the corner there. Oh, yeah. I dumpster dived at work yesterday. They all know I do this shit, but they throw it in there anyways. Hydro cord and the inside is aluminum. If anybody takes these apart, that's aluminum. They come apart easy. One little bolt pretty well is what holds them together. And then you have the little the little heater coil. It's just spring loaded wrapped on there, so very simple to take apart. Then you got clean sheet aluminum. So yeah, might as well. That's stuff that has to be done yet. <clears throat> I got my firewood put away. My wife and I did it the other night when I come home from work. So my boy's car is in here again. See? Looks so much neater cleaned up. Yeah. I think I got a bit of wood in there. What do you think? About five quarter wood, maybe six. Including this stuff here. My big tarp sitting there. I think I got a good start. Now the stuff will dry better. There's another row beside that yet along the tarp. I had that delivered there a week or so ago. You've seen it under the tarp. 
would have been nice if the bin was gone before it showed up because then I could have had it dumped farther up. But we cleaned it all up. Waiting for the garbage guys to show up yet. So I got this to do. She says cut it up. I don't know what to do with it. I'd love to have it above the gazebo because that gazebo roof is pooched. Retractable awning, you know. But I don't know what shape it's in. But it is all extruded aluminum. Well, most of it. This is galvanized. But I've had them before. It's more wood i got to cut up. But shit. It just never quits. But it does look neater around here. My plan was to work on those bikes. They're all aluminum framed. I'm going to cut them all up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, they'll cut up with a sawzall real nice. Brand new sawzall blade. This is a little bit of work involved, but I can make it real easy. Just cut, 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 and done. Throw the rest in with the dirty aluminum. I got those rims to take off yet, too. There's just three bikes there, I think. Yep, just three. That last one's in pretty good shape, actually. It's a girl's bike. It's always a girl's bike. They're always in the greatest shape, and nobody wants them. Go figure that out. I think I might hang on to that one. I'll lubricate the chain, make sure everything works, put some air in the tires and put it away. I'll find a young girl that might want a free bike. It's called a hardtail. Whatever that means. The seat does belong to it. This is tech team, so is the bike. So and I can see that just now saves me from ripping one apart. Come on, you can get out of there real easy. <laughs> You got a kickstand on it. Yep. It's everything there. Okay. I'm gonna set it there for now. Set it away. Just need some air in the tires. But these guys are done. Pedals are broken, brake cables are busted, everything. Gears like they've been stripped. This one actually is what they call a tweaker bike. Frankenstein bike, whatever. The tweakers in town there, they steal bikes and they put everything on their own. I don't even know how you rode this one. Because they, uh, let's see if I can move this over. That doesn't match. It's just a single speed sprocket on there, I think. Unless you took all the other sprockets off. But, uh, yeah, we're kind of looking at it upside down, but... See that this bike frame was designed for disc brakes. There's no disc brake on that front wheel. So he's taking these wheels off of another bike. That's what we call Frankenstein bike or tweaker bikes. Yeah, we do have that issue in this town. It's a lot of unemployment for a small town. There's not a lot of work or a lot of them don't want to work, put it that way. So that's my plan. Air conditioners are going to get stacked up over there. i got another table laying there. It was laying flat upside down on that one, so I'm going to move it around. It's another one. I'm pretty sure I have some rims under there. i got to throw them in the truck, and I can bring them to the tire shop. At least I think I did. Yeah, I can't tell. I don't remember. They were Volvo rims, remember? A couple months back? I know I didn't do anything to them. I didn't sell them to anybody. They're under that tarp somewhere. But anyways, I want to clean this mess up. That's my plan anyways, so we'll see how far I get. She's got those listed. At least I think she does, my wife. That's who she is. So, Northwest wind. Ain't going to be warm today. Was debating whether or not to make a run to the scrapyard. I still can. It's only 9.30. Yeah, I still have him to work on yet. I'm in no hurry now. I think I'll cut the one end off with the sawzall. And I've been tossing things around in the old brain there. and Yeah, it hurt. On how to pull that out. So, we'll cut the burnt end off. And put it on, clamp it down, and then put something on there to yank it. I got, I got come-alongs and 
stuff like that. So, yeah, I like to get this mess cleaned up. These are pretty much all uh, power washer motors and treadmill motors, as you can see, power washer frames. They all need to have a couple alternators. Bulk week starts this weekend again. Don't know if we're going to go out. I'm getting too far behind. This is all clean aluminum. It just needs to be bagged. This barbecue needs to get out of here. I keep forgetting about this box of stuff. Looks like all electric clocks. Somebody cut all the cords off of them. That was an old wind-up. Holy! Some of this stuff is ancient. I never really looked through this. Yep, see? Cord's cut off. I could probably put another cord on. That'd be a cool clock to have. Imagine that did glow in the dark, too. Remember that? Glow in the dark. Wow, I'm talking 70s now. <laughs> I was born in the 60s, so... Everybody talks about the 80s. What about the 70s or 60s? Huh? They were good years, too, you know. At least I thought they were. Maybe. <laughs> so that's what I'm planning on doing. A little 12-minute update. Gotta go tend to my fire. Wood needs to be put back in. Yeah, I got a runny nose, too, today. It's that type of weather. It's the fire poker I made myself. Old shovel handle. I left it too close to the fire one day. But hey, we come across shovels all the time that are no good. And the handles are. I just put a new handle on. I made that Frankenstein monstrosity. Great big lag bolts. Welded onto a little piece. Welded onto that. Hey, keeps my fingers from getting burnt. The reason why it's cooked on that side, when I cut the grass, I stand this right here so I don't lose it. Well, when you got a fire going, you shouldn't leave it there. <laughs> right? Hey, you. Star puppy. Hi. You want to go in the house? Yep. She says, I'm ready to go in, Dad. Not a problem, we let you in, hey? Don't want our little puppy to do cold. There you go, bye bye. Always keep an eye on her this time of year. She's not a young puppy. She's gonna be 16 in April, I think. April or August. So that's what I've been doing. Just farting around. Yeah, there ain't much going on in here. We brought some more wood in here. Stacked her up. I just did some kindling up. Yeah, it's a nice little stack. It'll last for a couple weekends. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, yeah. Here, we'll turn this light on. That one's got some nice brightness to it. What time is it? 20 to 10. I could actually do a run this morning. Look, shrink my hoard. Extruded, extruded, sheet, cast. That's all aluminum. Circuit boards, dirty aluminum, copper, brass. I got to find out before I bring the copper and brass and see what the prices are. Christmas lights. What do they call that? Zinky. So. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. And stainless. Stainless. And. <laughs> yeah, I have it everywhere. The big stuff doesn't come in here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Just in front of that tarp. There's a bathtub there. It's full of stainless and extruded and sheet aluminum. It's the big bulky stuff. It just gets to stay outside and play. And then, of course, more brass. Brass, 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 brass. Copper, copper. Just don't look at it yet. Find out if he 
pays better for the computers and I just take them in whole instead of stripping them, right? Oh yeah, what's underneath here yet? Electrical wire. Can't forget that, insulated, low grade, worth 10 cents a pound. Yeah, I think that's everything that's hiding around here. These all have to be stripped yet. Yeah, I got, oh yeah, more brass. I forgot about that. I keep it covered. It shouldn't do that. See, now I can see it. I don't know, I'm at a quand quandary, quandra. Well, what to do today? It's not a really get up and go mood today, you know? Have one of those days, it is Saturday. I worked all day yesterday, day before, and New Year's Day got paid, so Whew, I'm getting buzzed by birds here. That does work. I think she has it listed. Not sure. So anyways, like, subscribe, and share or not. It's a 16-minute update. A doom and gloomy day. We ain't going to see any sunshine today. Enjoy your weekend.